A portion of this video is sponsored by Omen Oasis. More on that later. Stephen Curry has been in this many NBA 2K titles. And today, we're playing them all to see just how far he's really come. First up, one of my favorite 2Ks of all time, NBA 2K10. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Yeah, I remember when this was like the, the menu screen. <laughs> This is NBA 2K10, man. Bro, they had Stephen Curry rated lower than Azopuki. 69 overall. Oh, they had one thing right was his outside scoring, which from entering the league was an A-. That's really good. The experience on the PlayStation 3 is actually pretty brutal. I forgot how many times this freezes. Even before I started recording, it froze twice. The recording just started. It's already froze once. Thank God. Wow. Round of applause. <laughs> Damn, you see your graphics? Oh, it's been so long since I played this game. Cash. Damn, Curry off the rip. Ugh. Okay, so that's for some reason the shoot. Damn, you have to pass first, Chris Paul. Get that out of here. Clear the ball. Hey, Curry, swing, swing, wide open. That's Cash. Nope, maybe not. First of all, the amount of aliasing on these characters is hilarious. Damn, I missed this game so much. Look at the sound it makes when it hits him. It goes, whoosh. Oh, we replay that sound one more time. What the hell? What? Why did he do that? Curry, when you check the ball, you give it to your opponent. And they gave me the ball? How did I just win this? Okay, let me ISO a little bit with Curry, man. There was no dribble stick back in, in 2K10, so you just dribble with your left stick, you know, whole time. You know what I'm saying? That's how I've been dribbling 2K21, so not much different for me. Boom, blow by attempt. Damn. Boom. That's Boris. LeBron. Back out. That's Steph. Hello! Chris Paul, go easy on me, bro. Damn. Damn! All right, listen. I know Chris, this is Curry's first year. He's 69 overall, Curry. But they're embarrassing me right now. Stealing the ball, dunking on me. What is that? What is... Did I just get the ball? Cash. Baby! Yes, sir! <laughs> Cash. Please, Curry. No, you suck in this game. You're horrible, bro. Can you imagine this is going to be a two-time MVP at some point? You could convince me this is going to be a two-time MVP. But well, here we are, man. Next up is what's considered by many as one of the greatest 2Ks of all time, NBA 2K11. And if this right here doesn't bring back a lot of memories, then you're probably just too young. So this is the exact reason why you should be watching this video. You know, Stephen Curry's been on the Warriors his whole career, so it's made it easy on me. I just know exactly. Just whip it to the Warriors every single year. Got Monte Ellis, Stephen Curry, significant improvements. Yeah! He went from a 69 overall to an 82 in one year. That's actually really, really impressive. This was back when Golden State used to be like a very underrated team. Like, they were fun to watch, but they weren't seeing much success in games. First year, got 17.5 points per game. That's really, really good. And he's improved on his outside scoring. Now they got him at an A. But his ball handling is actually seeing the biggest improvement in this this year's game is at an A now. Yeah. The teams are simple. Stephen Curry, Snoop Dogg, Amare Stoudemire versus Drake, Bow Wow, and Pau Gasol. Yeah, there was actually celebrities in NBA 2K11. 2K needs to bring that back. Boom. Okay, Drake. I ain't know you had that kind of... <laughs> All righty then, Drake. Is Stephen Curry in the celeb... Pin that! That was a violent foul. Damn it, they let me get away with that. That's crazy. Snoop Dogg passed the ball. Stephen Curry finally has a four bar at the three-point line. Gave him respect. Let me pull up from right here, man. That was a bad release. That's on me. My fault, 2K. No way Bow Wow is going to try something on Amari. Please do not do that. <laughs> oh, my God. He's so small. How did he hit that? Man, back in the day, the AI was not that smart. It was, it was pretty dumb, to say the least. Let me see that. Let me see that. I'm getting sauced right now by washed up rappers. I'm down horrendous. Oh, Drake's not washed up. Why did I say that? Boom. Boom. Let's go, Curry! Cash! Yes, sir! Let me just shoot in your face, huh? How about that? Cash. Bang! Bad release and it still hits. Considering he has such a good three-pointer, it is difficult to time his jump shot. I'm happy to announce that this portion of the video is sponsored by Omen Oasis. You're a gamer. You kick back. You're trying to game with your friends. You have friends, right? You download the Omen Gaming Hub. On the left-hand side here, you see it says Oasis. You click that and it sends you into a portal. Portal of infinite fun with you and your friends. You invite your friends in here. You can text chat, voice chat, turn on the camera, and you can screen record in silky smooth high frame rates. And learning how to use Omen Gaming Hub is really simple. On the bottom left, invite friend link. You want to copy that. You want to send that friend link to your friend, and you can see, boom, Chris has requested 
suggested to join, you accept, and now he's in here. Chris could turn on his cam, you could communicate with Chris. Hi, Chris. How you doing, man? And the process is real simple, man. You need to change your microphone, it's down here. You need to change your speakers, it's down here. Your webcam is down here, and you want to screen share, it's right here. You can choose between the different displays that you have connected to your computer. I'm gonna go with display three, click share. And now, Chris, can you see my screen? Yeah. If you can, man. Look, there's a PSN code for you right there, my brother. Oh, word? <laughs> yeah, man. Bless yourself, man. I mean, the UI is really simple and easy to understand. It doesn't bog you down with millions of different buttons. If you click the My Game section, it has all the games you usually play already loaded up for you. The process is mad simple. The quality is fantastic. And honestly, the best part is they're dropping continuous updates. And this includes mobile and browser app support on your screen. Look, if you're looking for a place to kick back with your friends, enjoy your experience. Something simple, high quality, where the focus can be kicking back and having fun with your friends, then you can't go wrong with Omen Oasis. So download Omen Oasis on Omen Gaming Hub and get back to focusing on the fun. It's a huge thank you to Omen Oasis for sponsoring this portion of the video. The NBA 2K12 is up next. Bro, 90s music is just hilarious. I used to go outside and drive my car. I used to play the game and drive my car. Oh my God, we got a brand new UI. It's more confusing than the last one, but hopefully we can get the hang of it. Come on, you're in your third year, Steph. Talk to, oh, hold on now. Did Steph go down in overall? And he scored more points per game. The rest of, and he shot more efficiently. 44% from three, 93 from the free throw line and dropped an overall. His ball handling dropped from an A to an A minus. Outside scoring from an A to an A+. Plus. It's some 5v5 action going on. I'm going to the right side because that's where Stephen Curry is. A whole lot of all-stars plus Stephen Curry. He's not an all-star just yet, guys. Wow, brand Remember back in the day they used to give us brand new black tops every year? <clears throat> I remember that. Stephen Curry's dribbling has got worse or the gameplay is, is just significantly less responsive. One of the two has just happened. Inside! What? When did he learn to dunk? I do not remember Stephen Curry being able to do that IRL. Let me get a screen. Let me get a screen. Let me get a screen. Screens don't work in this game. Wow, 2K12 is a huge downgrade. What is going on right now? Pull up, Steph, that's you. Bang! His release feels a little different this year. LeBron is goaded. LeBron is going to game, game. Yeah, the, the difference between like when I'm moving around with Kobe and LeBron and then you put the ball in Steph Curry's hands is so tremendous in this game. It makes no sense. On Stephen Curry's fourth year, let's see if he's made some significant improvements on the offensive end. So Stephen Curry's been stagnant for a little bit now. He jumped from an 80 overall to an 82 overall in this year's game. And they finally went from letter grades to number grades so we can see specific attributes. A 93 point and a 92 shot medium is up top. It's, it's up there with some of the best people in the league. So at this point in Curry's career, he established himself as one of the best shooters, decent at attacking the rim, and a good playmaker, but not elite. Not elite just yet. So Steph Curry is not available on the blacktop in 2K13, but he is available in the 5v5. Oh my God, this year's game does feel better than 2K12. I say that much. On top of that, the sound effects, you hear that? Doom. That's such a satisfying sound effect. Boom, fade, big bricks. Oh my God. Oh, big steals, Curry. Big steals. Stop right here. Cash it up. Bang, baby, yes, sir. Man, the gameplay on this year's game was not good. It was just not good. Let's see what kind of dribble moves Steph could do this year. No right stick, remember. So although you might be like, oh, these animations is kind of familiar. They're in recent 2Ks. There's no real way to know how to trigger them because there's no right stick to be able to do it. You kind of just use your left stick and guess. As I drive, spin, no opening. Let me just fade. Damn. It's a generation jump. We're on the PS4 with it. So hopefully Stephen Curry has a generational leap in his abilities this year. Hmm? Damn, Mr. Steph Curry's at the top of the team. 88 overall, that's a big jump from 82. 93 offense, 75 defense. From 26 games played to 78, 15 points to 23. And he has a status as a star now. Wow, Steph Curry, welcome to the big leagues, buddy. Steph Curry's the highest overall on his team. That's so odd to say. And hey, sir, Clay Thompson, a little 73 overall, man. D up. Uh-oh. Okay, defense still not elite. Still not elite. God damn it, Steph. Who told you to do that? Is my controller broken? What's going on? 
God damn it, Steph Curry, why are you doing that? Steph, please explain to me why you're throwing the ball that far. The gameplay is significantly better. I mean, it was 2K13 we're comparing it to, so. The dribbling just feels significantly better this year's game. Look at me sauce up, oh, and drive to the 10, Curry. Yes, sir. Nah, Steph Curry is like playmaking and his ability to attack is elite this year. It's elite. Look at the graphics, man. Biggest graphical upgrade in 2K history right here from 13 to 14. Watch, you leave me open right now. I don't like that. Damn. All right, man, 2K15. Look at Steph Curry, man. Look at him improving. 89 overall in this year's game. From 23 to 24 points per game. 7 to 8.5 assists per game. Shooting more efficient than ever from the field. A 90 mid-range. A 93 three ball. This is Steph Curry just about to reach his peak. He's not there yet, but he's just about to. Oh, look at that momentum. Ooh, yes, the gameplay on this was significantly improved, man. Let me see some, let me see some. Pull up. Green buckets? Yo, bro, nah, this is just a, this is a better product. This is a much better product, man. No way. Big bricks, boards, we out. White, bad. Let's go, baby. Uh, it's dead at 11. Keep mine is dead at 11. Ooh, look at me sauce up. Feed, bang. Oh my God, what did I just do? I'm impressed with myself. Okay, look, so on the bottom, you see the shot meter. As the blue part gets bigger, you know like, yo, bro, you can shoot from a distance based on how big the blue part is. I have goal limitless range on 2K15 with Steph, so you can't really hit these right here. Oh my God, game! Wow, that impressed me. Okay, so basically we've reached the point where Steph is like, he's that guy now. Okay, all right, Steph is that guy officially. Next up, oh, Steph is really gonna be that guy in this game. This is NBA 2K16, you know why? Steph is on the cover. You see what that screenshot says? IGN said this is the most impressive sports game ever assembled. And yo, I'm gonna be honest with you, IGN was on the ball, dog. This is actually the 2K that my career finally started to take off as an NBA 2K YouTuber. That is one of the reasons to love this game. The second is that Stephen Curry is a 93 overall this year. Criminally underpaid at $11 million a year. He maintained same stats as last year. There's not even that big of a difference statistically from last year. I think they're just doing a lot more winning. So when the team wins more, somebody on the team's gonna skyrocket in overall. Okay, NBA 2K16. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Oh, oh. Okay, not a good start. The gameplay is elite. Man, the defense, the offense, the animations. This is the greatest 2K to ever do it, ladies and gentlemen. Cash. Oh yeah, Steph Curry finally got his release. This is the release that we all know and love from Steph Curry, man. Yes, sir! I'm fading. Moving shot three is crazy. I saw, I saw! Oh my God, y'all remember this game? I have so many memories on this game. I'm shooting this. Cash. Bang! Oh my God, that wasn't even a good release. Y'all see how off I was? And next up, arguably one of the best seasons in Steph Curry's career, 2K17. So we got Steph at a 94 overall. This is the last year before he finally got a chance to renegotiate his awful contract. 30 points per game, five rebounds, almost seven assists, two steals, shooting 50% from the field. 45% from three, this, these seem like superhero numbers. 99 open shot three, contested shot three is at a 99 as well. Just looking at his shooting attributes is that you don't even catch nothing under 90s. This is truly unbelievable. Gold acrobat, gold teardropper, silver relentless finisher, hall of fame limitless range, gold catch and shoot, gold deep range, dead eye, the list goes on ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, wow. Come on Curry, ISO! The dribbling in 17 was like, it was peak. I, I don't know what it was. Just your ability to do dribble combos was so spectacular in this game. Green up, let's go D-Lo. D'Angelo Russell came out with a release in this game too. It was one of the slowest releases in the game, but it was, it was one of the most spectacular. I had a couple jump shots with it. Low key, I put people on game back in 2K17. ISO! Boom, boom. Green. Bang! Oh my God! I remember the first week of launch on NBA 2K17, I experimented with Steph Curry's release, and it was so spectacular. I made a video dropping 79 points on the prime with Steph and Curry's release, and literally the next week, the jump shot got patched. Oh, I poked it out the... I'm gonna fade. Damn, from two. That's what I was trying to do. Give me that! This is for the game. Watch, watch, watch him hit it, watch him hit it, watch him hit it, watch him hit it. Watch him hit it. Ah! 
I don't think I've ever hit this high before. Honestly, I thought I was gonna skip this game. <sighs> but uh, it, it is an important year in Steph Curry's career, so we're playing NBA 2K18. Yep, that's it. You're welcome. Hey, I'm, I'm in a better mood already, man. I'm looking at Giannis' beautiful face. This is one of the best 2Ks all time right here. NBA 2K19. But outside of the contribution Giannis had to the game, Stephen Curry was in his prime. All right, so we got KD at 97 overall, Stephen Curry at 95 overall, DeMarcus Cousins at 90, Klay Thompson at 89, and Draymond Green at 87. This is an all-star team, all playing together on one team. Steph jumped from 25 to 26 points per game, shooting almost 50% from the field, 42% from three, a 98 open shot mid, a 99 open shot three, 98 shot IQ, 97 stand layup, 97 driving layup. Nah, it doesn't get better than that, bro. This is the best player in the game, really. Let's hoop, baby! It's me and KD versus Lillard and CJ McCullough. Iso, Iso, ooh, little momentum, little drive, little spin move, little shot, buckets! Oh, 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 please, KD, green! If you did a good release, which is not too hard to do, Stephen Curry has very smooth, quick release. But around 2K19 time, they actually slowed down Stephen Curry's release. 17 and 18 was one of the fastest jump shots in the game. They slowed it down to make it one of the slower jump shots in the game. Ooh, sauce up, quick shot, and that's a bucket. Oh my God, it's like, how do you compete? Get me out of here. Get me out of here, man. <laughs> Things continue to get more interesting because we're playing NBA 2K20 next. This is just like prime curry right here. And because we're playing NBA 2K20, the servers are still active, ladies and gentlemen. And Stephen Curry is a whopping 95 overall, jumping from 26 to 27 points per game, shooting an insane 43% from the three-point line. And as you scroll through his stats, it's just nothing short of unbelievable. Growing up, I did this thing where like, I used to hate LeBron because my brother was a LeBron fan and I was a Kobe fan, so I'm all Kobe, he was all LeBron. And I feel like I robbed myself out of just like the enjoyment of watching and watching basketball players compete at the highest level. I was too busy picking sides. I couldn't just appreciate it. So as I sit here and I watch some of these goats like Curry play, I'm appreciating it, man, for real. NBA 2K20, man, is not so long ago we was on the YouTube playing this game. It wasn't that bad in hindsight. Man, the blacktop just seems like the one mode that 2K just always adds in a 2K, but never ever tries to improve. It just exists as the same shell it's always been. And while I'm grateful they don't take it out the game like they do a lot of other game modes, all the way, as Sursky. I do feel like it's due for some kind of upgrade, some kind of improvement on the blacktop. Iso, Iso! Damn! Oh my God, why did you fade, Curry? No! I'm about to just pull up, bro. Oh my God, green light! I don't know why I get surprised. Just like, it's so consistent. The problem in 2K18, 19, and 20 is that when you don't have, go oh my God, ankles taken, ankles taken. Oh my God! The problem is, is when you don't have defense, people just get infinite blow by animations on you. People can just walk past you if they have good finishing. Let me take some ankles. Oh my God. Damn! When you get the badge, just shoot from wherever. I guess it doesn't really matter. We've done it. We're on the PlayStation 5 with it this time with NBA 2K21 on the current gen, because if I played next gen, I'd, I'd fall into a deep pit of depression and nobody wants that. Steady 95 overall on the current gen version of 2K21. I know you might look at this right here and be alarmed. 20 points per game. What's going on, Steph? 40 field goal percentage, what's up? Man, I won't take you some quick statistical analysis to remember that he was injured basically the entire season. He played a few games. So I guess not much has changed since 2K20 and 2K21 because this is the same Steph Curry. It actually goes to show just how prolific of a player he is that he cannot play for an entire season and the dev team is just as confident that he'll be back dominating the way he was before. Yes, sir! Cash! Okay, all right, Steph. That was easy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All the way, baseline. Yes, <laughs> Oh my God. His ability to attack and then shoot from wherever he wants is insane. And then last but not least, the current game, NBA 2K22. 
a 96 overall. He's went up one since the last year. 32 points per game is crazy. Shooting at 48% from the field, 42% from three, 91% from the free throw line. What? These are his current attributes. A 96 driving layup, 98 shot close, 90 mid-range, 99 three-point shot. At 12 years pro, this is Stephen Curry in his prime, ladies and gentlemen. This is the most interesting camera I've seen added to a basketball game since the 2K cam was added. Boom. Ooh, sauce up. Ooh. Yeah, no, this camera's significantly better. The second I get back on, <laughs> it's, all, it's like automatic, man. Steph Curry's one of those few players where no matter what 2K you boot up, he's nice. Not every player is like that. Sometimes players get like horrible packages. The layup package is awful or they can't dribble for shit. Or they have like some tendencies that make them frustrating to play with. Just across the board, Steph Curry's been that most consistent player, probably in 2K history. He's very versatile too. Uh, people don't talk about that enough. If y'all enjoyed the video, man, make sure to drop a like. Over here, I got a dunk with Vince Carter in every single NBA 2K game he was a part of. And he was in the league for like two decades, man. So if you missed that, go ahead, catch that. It was a very up and down video. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one.